What's up guys, Coach Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com, and I got a pitching drill for you today. Actually, two drills that you can do with this one tool, this very cheap tool that I got from Amazon. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it is right now because I haven't opened it yet. I hope it's the right thing. And it's a hockey puck. But that's what we're actually gonna use for this pitching drill. You can use this hockey puck for fastballs and change-ups. And I'm gonna show you how you're gonna use this to work on both of those pitches. So for the fastball, what I see a lot of young guys doing when they throw that they shouldn't be doing is they get around the ball, okay? They, they, they don't have good pronation when they go to throw the fastball. And a lot of young guys will have glove side movement, right? So they'll throw the ball and their ball will naturally move this way. And that can lead to a lot of elbow problems, young guys getting around the ball like that. And it's, it's something that I see a lot. With this, however, we can work on staying behind that baseball. Because if we go, go to throw this and we're getting on the side of the baseball as we throw it, obviously it's not gonna spin straight backwards. But if we're staying behind that hockey puck and spinning it straight backwards, having good pronation, now you think about pronation, you think it might tilt the puck the opposite way, but actually all we're doing is getting more extension and getting that middle finger to be the last thing on the hockey puck. We still want backspin on this hockey puck. So it's a great way, especially for guys who get around the ball on their fastball, to work on that and get the good rotation that they're looking for. The second way you can use the hockey puck is for your changeup, and this is a great one. In fact, the reason I bought this hockey puck was because I had a young man come in for a pitching lesson with me, and he brought a hockey puck with him, and he showed me this drill. He was working on his changeup, and he was using the hockey puck to work on it, and it was a great drill. I've seen the fastball uh, hockey puck drill before, but I've never seen it used with a changeup. And this is what he was doing, and it's a great drill. He was gripping the hockey puck this way, instead of this way with the fastball, we're gripping it in our fingertips, a little bit lower than our fingertips, about mid-finger, just above the uh, knuckles, and we're just gonna work on feeling that pronation off of the side this way. And we're trying to get this hockey puck to spin straight sideways like this with the rotation. So now we're really trying to get that pronation get inside of that hockey puck and spin it off our fingers straight this way as, if, as it's flying forward. So I know I talked about the fastball and the changeup for this hockey puck drill, but you can actually use this for the curveball too. Just wanna get that 12 to six uh, movement. Obviously if you're a little tilted, if you're that 11 to seven guy, you just want that same spin on that same axis that you're trying to create. Now, the only problem with the curveball is for a guy with smaller hands, a younger guy, might be a little bit tough, tough to grip but those guys older with bigger hands, you could add in the curveball hockey drill as well. So if you're struggling with getting around the fastball or not getting enough movement or change of speed on your changeup, then go buy yourself a hockey puck off of Amazon. This was only a couple bucks. Now, when I was shopping for this on Amazon, um, you know, there are like training hockey pucks. You don't need that stuff. This, is, this thing was cheap. So, and matter of fact, I'll just go find the link that I use and I'll drop it down in the description below if you guys want to get the same exact one that I did. So. Hope you guys like this one. Don't forget to subscribe because I got a bunch of new stuff coming. Also, check out some of these new videos and I'll see you in the next video. Hop down in the comments below and let me know what you want to see. More pitching drills, more hitting drills. What are you guys working on? Let me know down there. I'll talk to you. Thanks.